What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in our video today, we're taking a look at the shotgun telemetry part of the lie quest. This is coming up shortly after the community public events, and for this, we'll need to get a thousand shotgun kills. So in this video, we're going to take a look at a crazy build that means you can do this absolutely anywhere without ever running out of ammo. So if you want to get this quest done as soon as you can, then be sure to stick around and check out the video. Now, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new around here, I want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. Now, upon the weekly reset, we got the lie quest, or the first steps of it, at least, for the Fell Winter's Lie shotgun. Now, the first step is the community event where we have to get 3 million public events on the EDZ, the Moon, and IO using the Serif Tower events. Bungie has made some great changes to these, so progress is flying along. EDZ has now been completed, and we're working our way through the Moon. So if you haven't jumped in just yet, any little helps, so be sure to jump over on the Moon and give everyone a hand. Now, once this step has been completed, we'll need to visit Anna Bray. She'll send us over to Vostok to collect some insight for Rasputin. Now, once we've done this, though, the next grindy part of the quest is upon us. And this is where we have to get a thousand shotgun kills. This is double that of any catalyst in the game. Now, shotgun uses mostly special or power ammo, so it can be in limited supplies. Now, when it comes to completing these types of activities, there are fan favorites. You've got Shirachi over in the Last Wish Raid. You've also got the Thrall Room over in the Whisper of the Worm mission. And you've also got some areas of the Shattered Throne, which are very good for ads. But the problem is, is you'll either have a limited amount of ads, a limited amount of time, or a limited amount of ammo. Well, this build will allow you to actually get a thousand shotgun kills absolutely anywhere you choose and never run out of ammo. Now, as always, credit where credit is due and a massive shout out to Truds, a fellow content creator here on YouTube. He does some great build guides for Destiny 2 and he made a recent video regarding this infinite ammo build. Duddits in the Confluence has also brought this to my attention earlier in the season, but it's just now where it really comes to light. So if you haven't checked out Truds, then be sure to check him out and I'll leave a link to his channel in the video description below. Now, with that all being said, let's take a look at the build specifically and see exactly how it is that we're gaining infinite ammo. Now, there are many mods from the Season of Dawn. If you haven't got these mods from the Season of Dawn, then Banshee over in the tower does sell them intermittently on the odd occasion. So be sure to pay him a visit every now and again just to see if there's any seasonal mods that you don't have that are worth picking up, guys. But I highly recommend that you take the time to get some of the mods from the Season of Dawn as those are some of the best in the game. Now, we're going to start off with the helmet. Now, we've simply got a shotgun ammo finder mod attached to our arc helmet here. This will increase your chance of finding ammo while you have a shotgun equipped. Equipped. Now we're going to be running a triple shotgun loadout, so you're pretty much always going to have one in your inventory anyway. Now to support this, we've also got Quick Charge. Now this mod has a secondary perk which is active as long as you have at least one other arc mod socketed into your armor. Now the main part of this mod is where you become charged with light by rapidly defeating multiple combatants with either fusion rifles or shotguns. But because we've also got a arc mod already slotted into our helmet, we also get the secondary perk. And this greatly increases the ready speed of any fusion rifle, shotgun, SMGs and swords, which is a good thing to have when you're running triple shotguns. Now moving over to our gauntlets. On our gauntlets here, we have a shotgun loader mod equipped. So this will increase the reload speed of any shotgun, pretty much all our shotguns, to be honest. Now we've also paired this with the Season of Dawn mod high energy fire. This requires four energy in your gauntlet and while charged with light you'll gain a bonus to weapon damage and each defeated combatant consumes one stack of charge with light so this will just provide extra damage across all the shotguns we have because we're going to be having charge with light pretty much all the time so moving on to the chest piece this is also arc with a 10 energy now from here we have shotgun reserves this will increase the amount of shotgun ammo that you can carry which is very beneficial but the main thing here and this is the key part to this entire build is heavy handed this requires seven energy to equip and again this has a secondary perk that's active when you have at least one other arc mod equipped now the main part of this mod is when you're charged with light you'll regain half of your melee energy when you use a charge melee ability it will consume one stack of of charge with light in order to do that but the main perk and the reason for this build is the secondary perk lock and load so while you're surrounded by multiple combatants defeating a combatant with either a fusion rifle shotgun sidearm or smg will add ammo for that weapon to your reserves and because we're going to be killing things with shotguns it's going to be feeding ammo into all our shotguns meaning that we can swap between them with ammo aplenty 
Now moving on to our legs, again these are ARC and with these we have two shotgun scavenger mods equipped. This is where shotguns will get bonus reserves when you pick up special ammo. But we've also got another Season of Dawn mod here called Take and Charge and this is when you become Charge of Light by simply picking up an Orb of Light. So again, providing another source of getting stacks of Charge of Light. And as long as we have those stacks, we'll always have increased damage and also ammo reserves. And finally, moving on to our class item. Here we have one seasonal mod, again from the Season of Dawn. And this is Stacks on Stacks. This is for four void energy and this is where you gain an extra stack of charge of light for every stack that you gain there is a penalty to your recovery of minus 10 however that won't really matter if you're simply farming out kills for the light quest okay so that is all the mods and the armor pieces you'll need in order to set yourself up for success to run infinite ammo as a build now you can run any shotgun that you like there are only two really power shotguns in the game and that'll either be the legend of Acrius or the tractor cannon either of those work legend of actress is one of the highest dps shotguns in the game so i'm running that one on my build but i guess the key perks we're looking for on shotguns specifically to help make this build even stronger are things like auto loading holster or lead for gold now i have auto loading holster on my kinetic shotgun this is where the holstered weapon is automatically reloaded after a short period of time. So that means whilst you're being fed ammo through all the mods on your armor, you won't actually ever have to reload your shotgun either. If you ever run out of ammo, you simply swap your weapon and you can rinse and repeat that as long as you have two that have auto loading holster as perks. If you don't have auto loading holster, then a great alternative is lead from gold. This is a new trait introduced with Season of the Worthy. And this is where by picking up heavy ammo, but this will also grind you ammo for that particular weapon. Again, as we're all running shotguns here, that is just feeding you even even more ammo on top of the mods from your armor as well. So with the combination of armor mods and those weapons with those types of perks, we've solved the issue of ammo. And this means you can farm shotgun kills absolutely anywhere that you like, as long as you have a good group of ads. Now, obviously, public events are very popular at the moment. But once the quest step is completed, you're going to be looking for other areas. Obviously, Shirochi and Whisper of the Worm are very popular areas. But for me, when it comes to infinite ads and not having to worry about time, as long as I've got infinite ammo, then somewhere like the Castellum over in the Leviathan is a great alternative there's infinite ads you can load in on your own so you haven't got to worry about kills being stolen and you also don't have a timer and this build solves that ammo issue and it shouldn't take you much more than 15 or 20 minutes to get those thousand kills to move past and on to the next step of the light quest so there we have it guys that's how you can quickly and easily glide past the shotgun telemetry part of the light quest using this incredible unlimited ammo triple shotgun loadout if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new around here, I want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys, but I will catch you all again very soon.